the fickleness of praise. Faithfulness is a high calling, and you and I will have our reward if we serve well. So hang in there while doing good deeds and serving others. We're in this Christian life for the long haul. Yes, it's nice to be recognized for what we do, but that's not always going to happen. Our focus is on serving as representatives of Christ, sharing his love and concern and provision, not personal recognition. As women, we're in unique positions to reflect the softer, gentler side of faith in the Lord. We can show how kind and generous hearts, tempered by wisdom and strength, come from God. As we serve, we reflect his unconditional love. What an awesome privilege, my brothers and sisters. When all is said and done, one of our rewards may be praise, but the greater reward is being faithful to follow our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. See, faithfulness really is a high calling, my brothers and sisters, and we have to serve well. We shouldn't mediocrely do it, half serve, be grumbling and complaining while serving, but serve. Serve with a good heart. Serve with the love and the compassion that Jesus served as. Because see, as Christians, in this Christian life, it's a long haul. It's not an easy road. Just like he told his disciples when Jesus told the disciples. See, it wasn't easy. And you know, it is nice to be appreciated and recognized, you know, every now and then. But that's not always going to happen. And some of you have experienced it like I have. Not being recognized for the work that you do in the ministry or no one thanking you. But you know what? We have to remember who we serve. We're not serving man. We're serving for the glory of God. And so our focus should be on serving as representatives of Christ. You know, being good representatives of Christ. I've said that so many times. Being a good representative of Christ. Sharing our love and concern and provision. And not wanting personal recognition. Don't let wanting personal recognition hinder you from serving Christ and his children and the people by sharing his love and concern and provision. See, because as women, we are in unique positions to reflect the softer, gentler side of faith in the Lord. So we are in unique positions. But you know, we really can show how kind and generous hearts tempted by wisdom and strength that that comes from God, not from man, but from God. And that truly is an awesome privilege with an exclamation mark. So when it's all said and done, one of our rewards may be praise. Somebody might praise us, but guess what? The greater reward is being faithful to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Faithful to follow him. So Lord, my ego likes it when people praise me for something I've done. I'm sure you've said that many times before. Your ego is telling you those things, right? But Lord, remind us always to give you credit. We can't take credit for nothing. We cannot boast like Paul said. <laughs> we got to give it to the Lord. Because our gifts and the ability to love and help others you know where it comes from, right? Well, if you didn't know, let me share it. It comes directly from the Lord, not from us. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. One Minute Inspirations. Be inspired on today, my brothers and sisters. Be inspired on today. God loves you.